Border Patrol says it has reached a critical point at our border, an overwhelming number of families straining the system. Tonight, they're revealing to me many of the families they're seeing are fake. The number of families coming across the border increased by 600% in the past year, according to the Department of Homeland Security. Over 53,000 were apprehended by Border Patrol last month alone, on tap to exceed 500,000 in 2019. An emergency report released April 16th by DHS declares it a real crisis at the border. They use those large groups because they know our resources can't address all the threats at the exact same time. San Diego Border Chief Rodney Scott is taking us east of Tecate to where he says is the new target area of smugglers after hundreds of South American caravanners broke through the fencing last November near San Isidro, resulting in barriers being rebuilt there. Scott says the cartels are sending smugglers to more remote, less secure areas. We're being watched. You're being watched right now. And waiting for the right time. A lot of times they put the children over first. Acting patrol agent in charge here, Tammy Herrera, says it's as many as 200 a day. Because on the south side, you know, the dirt goes up most of the fence, so they just jump right over. In a matter of weeks here, undocumented immigrants have cut the wire. They attach these tires to it to bring it down, and then they bring their blankets to cross over. The emergency report confirms what Scott says he is seeing, an alarming rise in fake families, adults with kids who aren't really theirs. So we have documented cases where children are being provided by a smuggling organization. They have no relation whatsoever to the individuals coming across. Agents say it's a dead giveaway. They don't know their names. And the smuggling organization basically rents the child, provides a child to this person. They don't know their birth dates gives them an entire backstory, and then they try to come across as a family. The looks on the faces of some children tell a different story. And sometimes we're seeing the same child be recycled. Congressman Duncan Hunter says he's been there. I've seen it happen. I've seen the uh, families admit to it. He calls it a racket orchestrated by the cartels to overload our system, distract agents, and more easily get drugs and bad guys in right behind the fraudulent families. The kid then gets shipped back to Guatemala to be used again by the next family. You get paid $1,500. Scott says because you can't fingerprint, photograph, or get DNA from minors, it takes agents hours to assess whether a child is being used as a pawn. But just the massive numbers and how many people are literally sitting on the floor waiting to be interviewed is challenging the amount of time that we can dedicate to that. Straining the system beyond capacity, he says, with only one way to turn it around. Fix the law. The law, Chief Scott says, needs to be fixed, was enacted in 2015. It guarantees families with children be released after a maximum of 20 days. The Border Patrol, as well as the recent DHS report, says the law needs to be adjusted to match the threats that we're facing today. And Scott warns we can't arrest our way out of this problem.